I oh, know, you f***ed it. Get that in your tiny little pea head that you f***ed it. I already know, babe. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our His V Hers Van Bill Challenge. So, episode 2 of our Van Bill Challenge. I'm converting a Luton van with a slightly bigger budget and Harry's converting a Sprinter van with a slightly smaller budget. We're basically competing head to head to see who can build the best conversion. Not only that, but... This series, you guys decide who's winning by commenting each week whose van is looking in better shape with respect to their different budgets. Not only this, but every comment you submit on each video will count as one entry to win a weekend away in the van of your choice at the end of these builds. So let's get in to episode two. So this morning off of camera, I've already managed to fit the window in the back of my van, which has definitely made me catch up with Nikki's Luton because that already has two windows. So my window's just gone in and I'm about to get on with some insulation. I actually got this plastic insulation from B&Q because it's not toxic and no one likes fiberglass. Okay, so insulation is done. Just time to put a vapor barrier over the top. Let's just make this quick. That's the vapor barrier done. It was so boring, so there's no point showing you it. But yeah, looks like a spaceship. Right. Oh. So now I'm going to start sound deadening the Luton. As you know, the roof is plastic, so it is very loud when it rains. I'm using the kill mat ones, and it's going to be good. Whilst I was doing this, Harry continued on what he calls his ball ache job of removing the bulkhead something he's been working on for about a week now. So, just a quick tip of the day for you guys. If you guys are struggling to get any rusty screws out of your van, I just managed to get the bulkhead out after days of trying to get it out because there was a few rusty screws we couldn't get loose. There's multiple ways you can do this. The way that I found that worked for me is I angle grinded a line straight into the screw there and then uh, I just used a flathead screwdriver to get it out. It works perfect for me. I've got four screws out with it. So just a quick tip for you if you're struggling. So whilst Harry does his stuff on his van, I am going to start on doing the roof of mine. So that basically involves little plywood struts going on, some Celotex insulation, and then hopefully a 9mm plywood board that will go up as my roof. Harry helped me measure the length and width of the plywood beam cutouts, allowing me to crack on with the job. I think this was my moment of realisation that this is not a one woman job. So Harry caught up with me and suggested we did each other's one after the other. Let's go for it. And for those OGs around here, we're using none other than our favourite easy drive screws. Somebody oh. blogged me, get that, and then took in the finger with right windows. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, we have just started our insulation. I've got it all over me, but we realised we didn't tell you what product we're using. So, we're using Ecotherm Celotex, which is 25 millimetres long. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> dramatic effect. Uh, but yeah, we're just putting that on our ceilings now, so I'm going to get on with mine, and, and Nix is going to get on with yours. Jinx. Personal padlock, one, two, three. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, this is impossible to do alone. Should we finish yours and then do mine? I can't do it alone. I'm just not tall enough. We should have like swapped jobs for this one. I could have done that myself and you probably could have done this yourself, but I just can't reach like a booster and then something I need to move and, and then I go off the boost. There's still more to do on mine, so. So we met in the middle. I finished off the insulation in Harry's Sprinter and he kindly helped me with my insulation in my Luton. Another 
be on the van then. Let's go smash it. We're getting more into the fancy stuff today. Like I'm, on, I'm gonna try get some of my cladding up. I might even try get my flooring in. What are you doing? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take off the rest of the stuff on my walls, which shouldn't be there, and then I'm gonna start with my roof. Ooh. Oof, oof. <laughs> As you can see, we were quite hyped up this morning. This is because we knew we were going to have our friend Saj over to give us an extra pair of hands. How are you doing? I'm so good to see you. It's been ages. Saj is actually thinking of doing a similar thing to us with van builds, and he's a complete novice, so he really wanted to get an idea of what to expect. So we just got him up to speed with what we'd done so far. <laughs> So after I measured and cut out the plywood for my roof, Saj and Harry helped me install it. Once we knew it all fit together, we took them all back down again, ready to be painted. And once I did this, Harry and Saj steamed ahead with cladding the roof of the Sprinter, whilst asking the managing director her advice about trailing wires. So whilst Harry and Saj have been steaming ahead, I have been painting my roof, so I've just done the first coat so far, and whilst that's drying, I think I'm gonna get on with carpeting the kind of headliner cab area where we're gonna put our bed. Right now it's like this horrible fiberglass sort of texture, and I've got this like nice beige carpet. It kind of looks horribly pink right now, but we're gonna pop that on there and use some spray adhesive. I decided to leave the carpet lining there and pick it up another time. All right, so me and Serge have just powered out the underlay and now we're gonna get on with the flooring because we're absolute machines today. Team Sprinter is getting ahead, isn't it, Nick? No, it's not. We've just seen what I've been doing. Are you getting jealous for all this Serge help? No. <laughs> yes. See you later, get in the bin. We're winning this week, baby. So it is a new day. Yesterday we finished off with Nikki painting her ceiling. So that is ready to be installed into her van. And me and Saj got a pretty decent way through our flooring and ceiling ourselves. So hopefully we can get that polished off today. Woohoo, let's go then. We're starting to see some real progress now. So the morning started off pretty well. I started trailing wires behind where my plywood roof was gonna go, but I didn't realize the big mistake I had made earlier that day. You've let yourself down, <laughs> you've let the team down, you've let your family down. Let the viewers down. I oh, know, you fucked it. So you're probably thinking at this point, what has she done? I basically didn't measure the holes properly for where the downlights will go in the plywood. And for one of the holes I cut, it directly backs onto a beam, meaning a light won't be able to get recessed in that hole. Right, five centimetres in right. the here. So if you haven't the gathered, bottom, yeah. I side, have messed yeah, up yeah. the drill hole yeah, right, so alignment for the yeah. plywood, basically. Basically, Measure twice, cut once. Nikki didn't listen to me. I didn't even. But you know what? We're over it. We're over it. <laughs> we're not over it. I actually didn't even do the cutting. I asked Harry to do the cutting, so he didn't question it enough, to be honest. I, I questioned you, but I didn't want to be rude, Nick. I'm not After an hour's worth of troubleshooting, things only got worse. So, in the process of Harry trying to fix it, he's actually now drilled a hole with his jig into the top of our roof. So now we've got a hole in our roof. So he's now going up there to sig flex it. Um, yeah. It's very stressful when you're all holding like a heavy piece up in the air for so long. So then everyone rushes and then yeah, Harry made a big hole in the roof. Looks like we're both making mistakes today, huh? He's not happy, buddy. No. The rushing. This is what happens when you rush. Nick, shut up. This all stemmed from your mistake. Be quiet. I'm saying this is what happened when you rush. I rush this morning. Right, so a little update for you on that bull leg for job. The ceiling is now in. There is gaps between the plywood. That's because we're going to be running timber struts between it, aren't you, Nick? That was your idea. Yeah, but because of the little issue that I made, um, we've now got a really big gap on that last one, so it's going to have to be a big timber strut to cover that. But whatever. That's okay. It's going to look like vintage beams, isn't it? Like That's barn what I'm beams. For, yeah, and I'm going to give them a good wood stain. It's going to look lovely. Now that me and this big man Saj have uh, finished helping Nick for the last couple of hours, we're going to get on finishing our flooring. Feeling good about it, Saj? Of course I am. Always, mate. Look at this guy. DIY king over here. Saj the tank, we call him. Let me next. No, you call him that. <laughs> So 
So this is what we managed to get done this week. Now let's talk layout and design. So quickly before I take you around my van, I'm going to talk about colour scheme and vibe. So here was my original mood board. I was thinking kind of like marble tops, grey, white cabinetry. But obviously I'm sharing this Luton with Harry and we're going travelling in it. And he doesn't like marble countertops. He kind of prefers like an oak countertop, which would look like this. But I think that looks way too similar to our last two previous vans. So I've decided to meet him in the middle and go for like a beautiful sage green colour. The cabinetry will still be white, but the walls and stuff, I think I'm going to go in with like a beaut like overly olive by Deluxe paint or something like that. As for the knobs and the handles, I'm thinking more of like a brass colour. I was originally thinking like a gold, but I have a feeling that's just a trend and that's going to go kind of out of date relatively soon. So let me show you what I'm doing with the van. So I've actually drawn out a little floor plan, which you guys are going to see on the screen right now. So keep that in mind whilst I take you around. So let's start with this area. We're going to put our bed over the cab area, and obviously it's going to be a double bed, so it's going to come out to about here, leaving some space on both of these sides, which we're actually going to make a his and hers like wardrobe system, which is going to trail into the cab area, so we can have a little door here so we can access the cab from our living space, which will be really nice. As we move along here, there's going to be a huge double seat bench, and then on the other side, it's just going to be a single seat here, and here, it's going to be a massive shower bathroom situation. So it's going to be like a little door here, you're going to walk in and it's going to be a shower and a shower tray with a door. And here you can sit down on our porta potty. <laughs> I have a lot of like shower inspo, I got some from Courtney on Instagram if you follow them. I absolutely love their sage green tiling with this kind of PVC, really lightweight cladding and marble effect. They have like a lot of them on eBay and Amazon. So next to the shower is going to be a sink area. So we've got about 80 centimetres worth of space and it's just going to be a nice big unit with a sink and a drying area on it. And then opposite that is going to be Basically, it's going to be a galley kitchen, so we're going to have a huge amount of kitchen area starting from here, and it's going to have a hob, a sink, and upper head cabinets all the way along here, hopefully. So I guess that's my layout done. Let's go see the competitions. So the same as Nikki did, before I take you in my van, I'm going to quickly talk to you about the style, the colours and all that stuff I'm going for. So as you can see, this is my mood board. I've gone for quite a similar vibe that we've gone to before. I love a wooden worktop and I love quite a dark laminate floor. So I think I'm going to go for something similar to that. But I think I'm going to go for a grey kind of cabinet tree this time. Grey, maybe white. Not 100% yet. Not very good at colours. Nikki normally does all this. But I think I'll be able to make a good looking van. So these two vans you can see on your screen here, one is by Lindy Vanna, and I'm not sure who the other one would buy, I can't really remember, sorry about that. But this is kind of the layout I'm going to be going for, uh, similar to both of these, obviously not the same colours, not the same design and stuff like that, but the layout is pretty much the same, as you can see by my floor plan right here. So with this now on your screen, let me talk you through the layout of my van. It's going to be pretty simple, it's going to be pretty basic, but to start with, we are going to rip out this bulkhead. I'm going to have a swivel captain seat right here, which is going to be facing a bench area, which is going to be just where I am here, as you can see. Nice. <laughs> and then there's going to be a kitchen over here that's going to have a little L on it, stove, sink, window will eventually be put in here. Nice. And then I'm going to store a fridge here in my wardrobe, which is going to partition off to my bed, which is going to go widthways here, because I'm going to carpet line the walls. And the bench is going to be backing onto the bed, obviously. Hopefully, this is all going to work out the way I'm imagining it. And hopefully, I didn't just ramble really quickly so you didn't understand. But here's a little layout picture for you to look at. Right, so that is the end of this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe. And remember that every comment that you put down in the comments gets you an entry into the giveaway. And also make sure you comment who you thought is winning this challenge at the moment. Is it Team Sprinter or is it Team Luton? Obviously, Team Sprinter has had a lot more help this week than I have. But... Right, none of that. I feel like we caught <laughs> up this week. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah, I'm not glad I think you won this week. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But um, yeah, again, thank you. Sad, you're the best. Thank you, Saj. And we'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week. Bye.